this is a tethered grasshopper again. I'm, I've been here before, but I'm just doing a short second video because I came back to just check a few things and I've noticed things that I didn't notice last time. The first thing I want to do is go and look at the bread oven because I didn't realise when I came here last time that the bread oven was actually built out of the wall. Oh, look, there's a tile there. Can't look at it. Is that a ridge tile? I'm going to sting my fingernails now. Oh, wow. No, it's just a, just a flat tile on a lump of stone and mortar and things. Yeah, this is the... This is the bread oven built on the outside of the house. Completely, I think that's probably what caused the chimney to collapse on the the main chimney to collapse because I think what they probably did was knock through into it for a chimney. This is just completely gone. I think probably knocking through to that side of the chimney kind of here possibly just made this whole lot come down. I've been all around this lot before. I'll try and give a link to the original video. See the edging of the track there. Little tea bag along there, which has been restored. There's something metal. I wanted to look in here because I wanted to see whether there were joist holes. There's possibly a hinge hole or something down there. That's the fireplace, which is a weird fireplace, which it doesn't look like the lintel's really resting on anything. But I guess it must be. That's the blocked window. Could there have been a platform there? I don't think that there's holes there. Here's the dogs come to look at me. That's the bread oven. I can see why I couldn't tell it was a bread oven now, because it's just completely, you just couldn't tell. You, you couldn't tell that it was really connected to anything. So I just wonder whether they knocked a little chimney from it through there. This is the really tiny doorway into the second room. What do you think? Evidence of joist holes? I don't think so. It's such a weird house. It was built for the poor in 1830 or so. It's such a strange space because, I mean, this is just tiny. And that's the window from the crog loft in the old house there, which they blocked up. This is a ridiculously small room. Maybe it was just like a, a parlor or something. I don't know. Or they'd sleep in it, but absolutely no sign of joist holes in it. I came back to look at this because I thought it might be a door but I'm pretty sure it's an optical illusion. I think it's just a coincidence that there's this stone at the bottom here and then there's like a line there. But I think it's all just a coincidence to be honest. Oh well. Notice that in the above this ridiculous lintel, which is resting on the end here, but doesn't seem to be resting on anything there, but it must be. But they've shoved some ceramic into it there. Something black as well. I don't know what that is. The whole thing looks like it's going to go down any time. It's a little extra bit of video of the the rest of the house. There's the join between the new house and the old house, and this must be the old house. It's got a very uneven lintel over that window, and then I think you can see above there was another window. Marvellous from inside. And then I noticed today that there's the signs of a porch on there. You can see the line of it going up in render, so there must have been a porch. There's actually a window frame there, but that bit wouldn't have Originally, I wouldn't have thought had a floor in it, so it's interesting. There's a window there, and then they're still guttering up there. I'm going to go inside through these lovely bushes. I 
feel a bit like ah, the, I accidentally stopped the radio recording, but ow, I feel like the handsome print. Ah, oh, trying to get into ah, oh, ow, Sleeping Beauty in the castle through the ah, oh, hedge of thorns because oh, God. Up there, yeah. that's a window. From the original building. That's the window in the crog loft of the original building. Right. And then they blocked it up because they built the extension in 1830. So that's the window, the other window in the crog loft. And then there was a skylight there, apparently, little one. You can't really see it. Ow, I'm walking into things. That's the other window, which I couldn't see from inside, but there's actually a frame in it outside. But if that's the extent of the crog loft there, then this... I don't know, maybe they put another platform up at this end at one point and just knocked a window down, I don't know. And this supposedly was a walk-in cupboard. I don't know what evidence there is for that. This is just the shape of it. This has survived reasonably intact in two years. It's, it's not going to go soon though. Hopefully that's just enough to add on to the video I took before. It's interesting actually, I found a roof ridge tile in here somewhere. I can't see it now. And the archaeological review of the place that I read said that there was a single roof ridge tile used as a repair but I can actually see another one up there so maybe there were more roof ridge tiles than the guy thought I don't know I think that's probably the that's the ridge tile there it's completely kind of concreted into stuff they try to preserve the wall with I can't work out whether that's anything there, but I don't think it is. This little nook here behind the beam, and when I was taking photos and looking at the photos after two years, I wondered if it was, um, you know, a tiny bread oven, but coming back and looking at it, it's obviously not, because it's jammed up against the beam for a start, so you couldn't light anything in there, and it's also, it's really shallow and tiny. So maybe it was just a place for storing salt or something else that you wanted to keep dry. There's a peg in the wall there. I don't think there's one on the other side. I came out through the window, my husband suggested, because it's easier than the door because it's not so many thorns in front of it, but they've obviously built up this bit at some point with bricks. Maybe this is part of the repairs that they made in 1830. It said in 1830 they built the new house and repaired the old one. So maybe that was something to do with that. I'm assuming that this is kind of where the window frame was. Oh. 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 